time to take a look at how statistics can inform public health policy as a whole, but particularly when it comes to looking at one of the bigger issues of our time, housing and homelessness. I'm joined now by Duke University's David Banks. David, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for taking it's the time. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Yes, yes. So let's talk about um, how can statistics play a role in some of these public health areas, particularly um, mental behavioral health, housing, homelessness, really important issues that we're all trying to solve. The expert on this is Dr. Suparna Das, and unfortunately she is not able to be here, so I am going to be an inadequate substitute for her. <laughs> um, but um, Substance Abuse and the Mental Health Services Administration is terribly important for uh, addressing these problems. Uh, obviously, mental health plays a large role in homelessness, and there's a recent Supreme Court decision uh, allowing municipalities to remove homeless people from uh, public lands is going to have unexpected consequences. Uh, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration is playing a vital role because we need to know how bad the problem is, whether it's better than it was or whether it's worse than it was. Uh, Angus Deaton and his deaths of despair was, of course, a, a, a critical event in understanding how the mental health uh, and substance abuse uh, problems are emerging in the United States. Dr. Das's work is trying to roll this forward in a way that casts a light on the magnitude of the problem. We have some young, brilliant minds going into the field of statistics. What advice would you have for them, especially when they want to go into the field that you're in and applying this to help with public health? I'm really old, so my advice probably <laughs> is not very valuable to people. But uh, for young people, I would say read widely, not just in the statistical literature, but also in policy, and read widely in history. Talk to experts in other domains. I would encourage you to uh, look to large language models. I think those are going to be transformational. I don't know what role they will play in things like the public policy challenges that we're all facing, but uh, I think they're going to have to be a critical component of any progress that gets made. I worry about our system of governance. I'm not sure that we are as effective and efficient as we need to be. Uh, a lot of the guardrails have come off. Our society is moving forward in unusual ways, and uh, the checks and balances that we have had in the past don't seem to be working as well. Uh, and so I would encourage young people to think about how they can maximize their impact for good in the world. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for everybody. Uh, I feel sorry for the next generation. I think they're going to have hardships and adversity that I fortunately was able to sidestep. But uh, Young people like you are going to carry a heavy load, so good luck with it. Oh, I love that you include me in the young people. <laughs> David, such a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>